Happy video day, guys. Christina Brooke here. Today, we are going to be doing a foundation. No, we're not. Concealer, Christina. We are going to be doing a concealer wear test and first impression on the brand new LYS Concealer. Now, you guys know I really love this brand. I'm a huge fan of the foundation. It is literally my go 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 to foundation and I'm obsessed. I love the bronzer. I love the blush. I think that the brand has a very good overall thing going for it, right? But, you know, concealer I'm kind of picky with, okay? So concealer, well, foundation I'm very picky with too, but concealer, it's that problematic area. I've got creases, I've got dark circles, and I'm more mature. So I literally need to, you know, be very careful with my concealers. This one had some interesting things, like it had brightening effect, it said full coverage, vegan. And I said, you know what, let's go ahead and let's give it a whirl. Hopefully it lives up to the foundation. I will be doing a full wear test. I will be giving you guys some check-ins too, showing you guys daylight, how it looks, and I'll get into everything. So if you're excited for that, why don't you go ahead and hit subscribe because you're probably gonna like the channel. I love talking about makeup. I also incorporate some fashion. If you like those things, then please hit subscribe. Now let's go ahead, let's get into it. Let's talk some details and then we'll zoom in and start trying it on. So this concealer is retailing for 18 US dollars, already available at Sephora, coming in a whole lot of shades. So there's a lot of different shades in this concealer. Um, they are saying that it's a luxurious, richy, ultra creamy concealer that helps visibly brighten brighten, conceal, and nourish the complexion. They are claiming full coverage. They're saying that it is vegan, gluten-free, cruelty-free, and it's also one of the clean brands at Sephora. So it has a lot of really, really good things going for it. Let's just do a quick little look-see at the coverage. We're gonna go ahead and put this on my hand and let's see. Uh-oh, hmm, <laughs> don't know if I like that. We're gonna go ahead and see the color match and also kind of get an idea of the consistency. It actually feels a little thicker. Oh, okay, so it feels a little thicker than I thought. I think color match wise, it's okay on my face. It's definitely gonna match, but it's a little pinker. But that could be good for like dark circles. So, yeah. Huh, I hadn't actually swatched it on my arm yet. So anyways, we will go ahead and zoom in. I'll show you guys how I applied it today. And yeah, you're gonna follow along with me today to see what the final verdict is. So let's go ahead and let's apply. All right, let's do a quick little unboxing of my Sephora box because I literally just got it in the mail. I don't know what I ordered. I know I got the LYS concealer, which is what you guys are watching this video for, but there's something else in this box and I don't remember what it was. <laughs> so look at that, two in one, LYS review and unboxing. What do we have here? Hopefully it's something exciting or this would be not worth it. Oh, okay, so you guys know I really love Rare Beauty. Look what I did. I ended up buying their Always the Optimist um, primer, <laughs> and I got it in their midi medium, medium, huh? medium size. So I have their little sample, which I think I keep telling you guys, like I keep using the sample nonstop. This was like a free sample from Sephora. So I finally said, you know what, Christina, you keep using it, get the medium size one. If you love it, then the next time you upgrade will be to the big size one. So we'll have every single size option on the channel. But anyways, this is like the medium size. I think it was like $14, was it like that much? And it's so good. So I'm gonna keep on using that little sample until it's out and then I will jump into that. Oh, and then I got this little ultra matte lipstick from Melt. So this is one of those free rewards and I thought it looked cute and I thought it looked like a cute color. Maybe we'll use it in this video. So that was just like a little free, little freebie there. And then I have my LYS concealer, which is why you guys are here. So here it is, here it is. look at that, ah. Okay, so let's throw that out of the way and let's, let's get into business here. Let's see what this looks like. So here is what the outer carton looks like. It says LYS, I love their packaging and I am super excited. I got it in MG5, right? Actually, MN3, because their foundation, I wear MG5, which is like my shade match to a T. So if you are my color tone, this is like the perfect foundation color. <laughs> and in case you guys are wondering, I love this foundation. I'm like obsessed with it. I actually have it on today. So it's like one of my go-to foundations. So I'm excited to try their concealer. Let's see, it's a full coverage brightening concealer. 
Ooh, and I love the design. So it is like a triangle, which is actually, I'm gonna see, achoo! Well, so that is actually awesome because when you put it down on the table, it is not gonna roll around. And I don't know if anybody will notice that, but it's something that I notice every time I put down concealers, they like roll off the table. I'm also always in a hurry. So, oh, is this, this is plastic. This isn't even glass, is it? I don't wanna break it. Full coverage brightening concealer. All right, let's 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 give this a go. Let's stop talking. So I do have a little bit of color corrector on, very, very, very little, but it was from like the beginning of the day. So it is like, yeah, you could still see everything through. So it's not on anymore, but let's try this out. I'm so excited. Hopefully this color is okay. Let's try it on one side and we will compare. I think that's about enough concealer, Christina. Ooh, I have one little complaint. Don't love, I don't love the shape of the applicator into the bottle. Don't love that. Feels like it's gonna be a little bit of a pain in the butt to get in and out of the concealer. But let's see if the concealer is any good because you know what, packaging sometimes isn't a deal breaker for me. You guys know I love the Item Beauty Concealer and that guy has the most faulty packaging like ever. You know what? I think that did a pretty good job, right? Don't you guys think? I'm gonna put a little bit more. I, I don't like this packaging. Ah, too bad. I really don't like the packaging. I'm gonna put a little bit more on the inner corner because I get, you see, this is what happens because the doe foot, let me show you guys. Because the doe foot is like curved, when you try to put it in, this, ah, it just, it takes a while to get in and then this feels very weak, like almost like it might snap. I'm kind of scared that people are gonna start breaking them, but you know, maybe they can improve that. Right off the bat, I kind of like this. So you guys see this side I have concealer, this side I don't. You guys can see the dark circles and the ugliness coming through. This side, it looks a lot brighter and I don't see the dark circles and I have very, very little color corrector. If anything, still on the face, probably almost all gone. Wow. Now. I do see it getting a little bit into the creases, so I'm gonna go ahead and set this eye really, really quick with powder. Just to kind of just get an idea, I don't always set my under eyes, I kind of like to not set them, so maybe what I'll do is one side I'll set, one side I won't. We're gonna do a wear test today, so I've got time, so let me just go ahead and smooth this out, and then I'm just gonna put a little bit of my Rare Beauty powder under the eyes. And after I applied the powder, I have to say it really, really looks so smooth right now. Um, this looks really smooth, let's see. Time will tell. I typically don't like to put on um, powder, so it might make the under eye look a little bit more dry on this side, but let's try the other side with, <laughs> with, no, with no powder, which would be the way I would like to wear it. Not a, you see, I really, this is gonna break. I don't like, I, ah. Definitely with the brightening, this works. I would say full coverage, I would say this is more medium than full. Um, it just always depends on how much darkness you have to cover. And that's okay for me. Like this is enough coverage for me. And that's because you guys know, if you watch my channel, the Bobbi Brown corrector is all I use. I always put this on. Like I said, today I put this on early in the morning. I don't probably have any more left. But this, I always put on the darkness, so anything that looks like purpley, I will cover it with the color corrector and I put on very little concealer. And that way I get a lot less concealer cake up, a lot less in the lines, and also wear a lot less makeup under the eyes, which as you mature in age, you wanna do. Right now, I kinda like this eye. All right, so right now I'm really liking this eye. This eye did get mattified a little bit with the Rare Beauty um, powder. So right now I'm gonna just go ahead and finish off my makeup. I'll show you guys what it finally looks like at the end, but we are gonna wear this the whole day. We are gonna do this a wear test style. I will show you guys at the end of the day how this looks. I, I honestly feel like, I, I honestly feel like concealer could be like a make it or break it type of thing. You know, like you buy a bad concealer, your under eyes can look terrible. So I'm gonna give this, I'm gonna give this a good test for you guys. So right now, I I like it. I think it looks pretty. Let me put on the rest of my makeup. I'll be right back in a second. 
So I went ahead and finished off my makeup with more LYS. I used the bronzer and the blush. So the bronzer that I have is the No Limits bronzer and my color is Harmony. Beautiful, beautiful color. Love this bronzer. I feel like it's a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury one. And then I finished off with the blush in the color Kindness, which is the most beautiful color. And I really love both of these products. So I'm excited for this. I am very excited. I will tell you guys after putting on all my makeup and looking in the mirror, my under eyes, my under eyes do look a little on the drier side. Now this has just gotten applied. So obviously we've got to see when the oils come through. I'll give you guys some check-ins. I'll go into natural daylight. Right now, I will say a little bit of a dryness and a little bit of, you know, like when it looks a little bit heavier under the under eyes, like this is full coverage. I do see a little bit of heaviness. So I am going to say right now I'm on the fence, but I'm not gonna say any definitive answers yet. Let's go ahead and let's start wearing this. I will be back in a few hours, give you guys my final thoughts and I'll do a few little check-ins. So, see you guys. All right guys, I am outside to give you guys a daylight check-in. I just kind of want to show you guys, this is the side that I set. It looks a lot better than the side that I didn't set, which is kind of weird. I almost feel like the side I didn't set almost looks drier than the side I set. Is that possible? That's what it looks like. Look, I feel like I see a lot more heaviness right here than on this side. Like I almost like the set side a lot better, which is strange for me. I usually don't like that. So I'm going to keep on looking at this. Definitely has a lot more coverage. So I'm going to say that for that reason, you're not going to get like seamless, seamless under eyes. You're adding a lot of like this is a thicker concealer. So for that, it does look good. I mean, compared to Tarte Shape Tape, this looks really good, you know, but it's not as full coverage as Tarte Shape Tape, but I definitely think it looks okay right now. Just don't love this side. I'm almost thinking the set side is so much better. Hmm, this is interesting. I'll keep on wearing it for a few more hours, let you guys know, I'll come and do you guys a little update. I don't know why outside today, it's like such a weird day. It's like raining and then windy, so weird today. Anyways, I'll be back hey in guys, We are at the end of the night. Whoa, today was a long day. So it is like nine o'clock at night and this is what it looks like. So, I actually really like the side that I set the under eye and I think it looks so much better even now. And the set that the side that I didn't set, it almost looked like product kind of gathered a little bit and moved around. I couldn't tell if it looked a little drier, but I think it's almost like it kind of like gathered, you know, so it almost looked like it was getting like separated a little bit. So I don't know, I've got to play with that, but the way that I usually wear my concealer is I don't set it. So just knowing that I have to set this one in order for it to look better is a little bit of a downside for me personally because I just don't, I don't remember always to set my concealer. <laughs> like I feel like the product gathered a little bit, it got into like the wrinkles and it does look a little drier on my under eyes. I don't know why, maybe it's my more mature skin, maybe it's that I have a little bit more texture underneath the eyes, but I don't really love the way it looks on the unset eye, which which is actually kind of strange because usually the unset eyes in a lot of other concealers is the eye I usually like because there's no powders down there so it looks less dry. But this case, I don't like this eye. This eye I like better. However, it's not perfect either. I do still see a little bit more texture on the under eyes. But I have to say that I think that's mostly because there's a little bit more coverage on this concealer. It is more of like a full coverage brightening concealer. So nowhere does it say like hydrating concealer, you know? But since this is a brightening concealer, it gives you that brightening effect, but it has that full coverage so it's thicker, but it is a little bit more mattified. So if I were to go for a full coverage concealer, I probably would reach for this one because a lot of my full coverage concealers, I don't love the way they look under my under eyes. And this one looks probably one of the best for full coverage. But is it like a daily concealer for me? Actually, it's not. I still really like um, my Rare Beauty concealer a little bit more. It's definitely a concealer I will keep on using and I will keep you guys posted because this is a first trial run. I'm gonna try hydrating my under eyes. I'm gonna try some other things to see what works best. But I will say, impression on the foundation was a little bit better than the concealer, so 
All right, guys, so this is day number three. I'm just popping in here to give you guys like a little quick update on the LYS concealer. So I did my whole wear test. You guys saw day number one, and I actually did not post the video because I wanted to wear this a little bit more and give you guys like a day number two. So what I ended up doing today, and this is something that I actually wanted to try, I really hydrated my skin. So I used a lot of skincare. I used my moisturizer over the skin. I also put a primer on, and then I went in with the LYS concealer. I have to tell you that today the eye look looks so much better. Like my under eyes look so much more, I don't know, just a lot better than they did the first time I put them on, the first time I put this on. So I personally would say if you are really interested in this, if you got perfect under eyes, you probably won't tell the difference. But if you have lines underneath your eyes, I would say that the way to wear this is you definitely have to moisturize your skin and you have to set this concealer 100%. So I did use my Hourglass setting powder today and it really does make a difference, especially on the under eyes. This concealer is thicker, so it's a little heavier. It's, it's not full, full coverage, I don't think. I would definitely say this is a high medium coverage, but on the thicker side, so it is covering a lot. Anytime you have a formula like that, it's definitely needs some hydration underneath. It doesn't claim anywhere that I saw that it's a super hydrating concealer. It's a brightening concealer, but because of that, it doesn't really have like that hydrating effect, which sometimes we need with more mature skin. So I would say you're interested in this, you want to try this out, but you have more mature skin, hydrate your under eyes, hydrate your face, and then go in very little with this concealer. Little goes a long way. I put it mostly on the inner portion of my eye where I get darkness and right here. And then everywhere else I just did like a little tiny dot and then blended it. Looks so much better. I would say that I definitely would use this and I would use this when I want maximum coverage because it is a higher coverage concealer than most of my concealers that I like to wear. I love my Rare Beauty one. I think it does the most beautiful daily concealer job. But this one, maybe, you know, if I want something more concealed, um, nighttime look, something that I want a little bit more drama, that's where I would go for this one. For me, it's not an everyday concealer. I feel like my everyday is still gonna be like a rare beauty, but I definitely can see myself using this when I need more coverage. So I'm gonna continue using this. I would definitely say that it is working out and I do like it a lot better like this. So much better with a hydrated under eye and definitely setting it. And yeah, that's the way to put it on. <laughs> I think that's the only way to put it on for it to look really, really good. And um, yeah, but I will say for being a full, fuller coverage concealer, which I usually try to stay away from because those type of concealers are thicker and they could look worse under the eyes. For being a fuller coverage concealer, it is doing its job and with the right preparation, it actually looks good. So that is making it a little bit better for me, like almost like it's going up on the totem pole for me and I can see myself actually enjoying this. So if you're looking for a full coverage concealer, high medium coverage concealer to use for certain occasions and stuff, but you have mature under eyes, you may actually like this with the proper preparation. So anyways, that's all I have for today. I will be giving you guys more updates on this concealer as I wear it, but leave me your comments down below and let me know if you guys have tried this and what are your thoughts. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.